Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Rhinestone Island, and this is our brand new international airport, or at least the first iteration of it. And I'm noticing a couple different little freeze ups here in our in our airplanes as they try to enter the runway. This is like the second time this has happened now. I think it's like a something to do with these two intersections being really close together. I might have to try and fix that in a minute here, but uh, it seems to fix itself once the plane comes along and uh, this one lands. I think actually what was happening there is he's just waiting for this one to land. Um, which I guess makes sense, but it seems like these guys have no regard for for anybody. They just kind of go, so I don't really know uh, what's up with that. But anyway, this is the International Airport, and you may have seen in the time lapse, hopefully you didn't, hopefully I'm good enough of an editor that you don't really notice this, but we went through like two, maybe three iterations of this airport before I was happy with how it turned out. Uh, you probably recognize just this like basic design for the different terminals. I was really happy with how this turned out. These like CNIT buildings from Paris. Is it CNIT? C it just, I don't know. I think it's an acronym or something. But uh, I think they look really cool. They remind me of big airport terminals in more modern airports. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to try and go with something like that. So the base design was perfect. But the problem was the first few iterations that I tried we had just like a basic road that kind of went around this way it was all one way and the idea was that the entire like airport terminal pickup drop off road was going to be a uh, one big roundabout and then you could enter or exit it and get back on the highway again like that and that seems to be pretty popular in most modern airports or at least from what i've seen so i thought it would work pretty well but the problem with that was we had two different airport terminals that were taking incoming traffic and it was causing a lot of problems uh, especially with the merge getting onto the highway there was these huge basically infinite lines of traffic that were trying to merge together and it just caused a total nightmare of traffic so what i decided to do instead is i decided to make this entire terminal on this side i'm calling this whole thing a terminal even though there's two of these uh i guess smaller terminals but this whole thing's supposed to be a terminal and this whole terminal is supposed to be dedicated to outgoing traffic via car so all this is is an outgoing area we've got a bunch of taxis that will kind of line up in this little underground road over here and then we've also got all of our uh, regular citizens just exiting by car or all these tourists waiting for taxis but either way it's uh, pretty much the best you can do for these airports you can see it's just kind of like a mess whenever they exit but it's really the only way you can make it work so they're all just kind of exiting normally and they all flow nice and clean there's no merging required they all just kind of go in their lanes they exit the right way and everything works just fine so 100 percent of our incoming traffic right now is going through this terminal now this terminal interestingly enough actually has no exit so the only thing that can happen here is people can go from the incoming lane which i think comes from over here on this side uh, right here they go down this way they can exit onto this little roundabout which takes them to the soon to be parking area which is going to be over here but if they don't do that they go straight through they enter the terminal split area so the right hand side goes to the right terminal which is the busy one the left hand side goes to our left terminal which right now is only taking outgoing we're not getting any incoming and if we do it's just people that are trying to get to these buildings i guess because they're they're monuments so they still attract tourists which is kind of funny but Anyway, right now, these don't serve a purpose, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna have this be the dedicated train line. So the train's right here, and there's no pedestrian paths that allow people to walk from this side to the train. So that means that, and this is kind of interesting, I know it seems a bit counterintuitive to just like force everybody to use one mode of transportation, but the way that the, the planes work in this game, it's the same way that the cargo trains work, it's the same way that the, pa the passenger trains work, it's the same way that the buses and the regular just car agents work. Everybody in this game is trying to go somewhere. So for the tourists, they're trying to get to some destination in the downtown area and uh, or, you know, wherever in the city. They could be going anywhere, really. So they enter the whole map via, well, in this case, they're going to be entering via the, the airport here. And when they enter the airport, they're going to go to whatever terminal gets them to where they're trying to go the fastest. So... For a lot of people, that means they're gonna be getting in cars and driving to their location. But uh, for some people, and you're gonna see in a minute here, for most people, uh, this train line is gonna be actually really efficient and they're gonna use the train line instead. So instead of having everybody have access to both cars and train line, which causes a big clog in the cars and just a total mess, 
we're going to force this terminal to be a car only exit and this terminal to be a train only exit which will work really well so I'll show you guys now how it's going to work let's go ahead and finally lay down this train line we've been kind of I guess uh, oh you know what I just realized we don't have uh, well you know I think let's go ahead and just build it now I haven't connected this last piece but uh, we've been waiting for a while now to get this whole train terminal working um, or this whole train line really the, the entire train line that goes all the way through rhinestone city and south rhinestone and the university and all the way down to unity station over here by luxaway bay all of this stuff has been in construction or under construction for a super long time now so let's go ahead and finish that i think for right now because again we're not really done with the airport yet i still want to add uh, one more runway over here which is going to be the commercial runway. We're going to have a whole bunch of different like distributors that are, have their own little uh, units like over here and over here. And we're going to have the runway right in the middle over here. We're also going to have a parking garage over here. So all the parking is going to be here. All the commercial is going to be over here. And then of course we're going to you know actually finish off this whole area. And man, this is really bothering me. I think I'm going to try and fix this. Uh, I think. Hmm. Hang on a minute. I think what we're going to have to do is this. We're going to have to delete these. And we're going to have to connect this one early and then also have it go up here. I think that's going to fix the problem. I know it seems a bit odd. Um, and I'm actually not done at all with the runways either. This is just like the functional runway. So once we have it all functional and working, and uh, you know, because the trains are, or the, I keep saying the trains, the planes are a bit finicky in the way that they. Uh, enter and exit the runway sometimes and they just take the shortest path to the runway which is a little bit annoying because then I can't have any sort of like crossing traffic to go to this runway without having planes try to like enter the runway right here and then take off in this little tiny strip which just looks kind of weird so uh, it's a bit finicky and that's why I've designed all this stuff the way I have it's a little bit uh, I don't know it's not 100% realistic in terms of you know how the real life should work but can't really get perfection right now with the way the, tr the planes work so uh, I'll go back and I'll, I'll make some cool cement paths and things to make it all look more realistic afterwards but this is the functional runway which seems to be working now and that we fixed it with this little area but anyway we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have the commercial stuff over here we're gonna have the uh, the different parking garages there as well but just for now because I don't really know how we're gonna do the parking garages quite yet I'm just going to go ahead and make a really basic train line that just basically just exits the area. And then I'm going to definitely go back at some point and, uh, well, very soon actually, and fix this train line space already occupied by what? I'm trying to make it exit here and it's, oh, that was weird. Anyway. So uh, we'll go back and make this train line exit in a more clean fashion, and it'll probably be, you know, weaving in and out of the parking garage and all that stuff. But for now, I'm just going to make a really poorly drawn exit here, and then this part's going to be probably the part that actually, you know, remains after we finish this area. But uh, since we're going to have that other runway over here, I want to get this train line as close to the highway as possible which means I want this to kind of veer back around towards these. You know, I kind of want to have those uh, power lines just kind of follow along the train and it'd be kind of cool. Let me uh, just draw this out a little tiny bit like that. I'm just going to pause the game so that we don't have any power outage issues for a minute here while I fix this. So we'll bring the train right up along this other train line over here. We'll have it go right alongside the highway for a little while. Gonna have to delete some more power lines, most likely. I'll put these back in a minute, but for now, we'll just delete all these. And then I'm gonna, again, just kind of follow, contour this highway here. Do some nice kind of simple curves through here. Again, just following the highway pretty simply. And then once we get to over here, this is where we're going to have to eventually make a different connection. So I'm just going to make a super simple connection there that is obviously not done very well and pretty uh, 
pretty rough, but we'll we'll get around to it at some point here. Let me just at least make it not so steep. There we go. So anyway, that's that's just basic. We'll get back to that later. But let's make sure that our power connection is still there so we can have all this stuff function. So there, there. I'm just going to draw it right alongside the railway. And I think I'm actually probably going to keep this power power route. I think it'd be kind of cool to have the power lines going right alongside the train like this. But uh, there we go. Whoops. Just draw it out to about. I think I'm just going to cross it for now, just as like a temporary thing. We'll again probably tweak these power lines in the future, but just get it to the power right now. There we go, everything's running again. So let's go ahead and throw in our train line. You're going to see pretty much immediately how the second that there's a way for all of our uh, incoming passengers on this terminal to get to where they're going really fast, we're going to have a ton of traffic in this area over here. So let's grab this and we'll start the line here at the airport. We're going to cross around to the parking garage terminal. Then we're going to go around this way, hit up the Rhinestone University. And then this line runs all the way around, kind of dips underneath this road over here, goes alongside the highway right into Rhinestone City. That's where we have our next stop next to our big bus terminal over here. Then it like kind of zigzags back out underneath all of this mayhem uh, over this way. And then uh, it also splits in this direction. We're probably never going to actually use this particular route because it's going to go this way. Merges onto the residential line and not the commercial line. And then kind of follows down this way on the right-hand side, right along the inside of this roundabout, over this way, and into Unity Station. And we're going to go with the left-hand side because the right-hand side is going to be re reserved for all of our trains that go out in this direction. So keep that in mind. Then we go all the way back around again, all the way back to our Rhinestone City stop, and then back up to the University stop, and then back to the airport. So there's our train line. Let's speed this up a bit, and we'll see if we can get some more passengers exiting this terminal now instead of just this terminal. But I will say, I mean, it's not, it's not terribly inefficient as it is with nobody even using this train station over here, which is pretty awesome. I'm pretty happy to see that. Uh, you can already see some, some planes flying in here really quickly, which is awesome. And uh, we'll see if any passengers start exiting here. Here we go. Here comes some passengers. They're all going to walk over here. They're going to cross the street. They're going to walk down this way. These guys are going to the... Uh, wow, I think all of those guys were actually going to the uh, the monuments over here. Probably because we haven't had any planes spawn that are uh, updated to uh, this new path. So we'll have to wait a little bit longer for that. But... Uh, yeah, the thing that's interesting about this that I've noticed is it seems like the way that the airport puts out cars like this is not super, well, it's obviously not super efficient. You can see that pretty clearly. Um, but the weird thing is this is like the only object in the game that spawns cars faster than it can actually output cars. So I don't know if anybody's experimented with this at all, but if you delete the road here, you can watch the cars still spawn. And then the second that they spawn, since there's no way for them to go, they just like immediately despawn. So I've kind of just like played around with this to see like how much backage, backupage, backage, I don't know what you'd call that, how much backup there is in this exit point. So I'll just delete this road here and then you can just see all of the cars lined up and they just infinitely keep spawning and it takes like, it takes a long time for all the cars to finish spawning, which is surprising to me because it means that the longer that this thing stays active, the more backup there's going to be in all the cars trying to spawn. So pretty much no matter how many planes are landing at once, there's always going to be like an infinite line of cars trying to get out of here. So kind of interesting, kind of weird. I don't really know why that is the case. But anyway, take a look at this train station. This is what I was talking about. It's absolutely insane how if you just give, if you give one terminal one option, then you get 100% people leaving this terminal, entering this train station, and then using our train station. Now, granted, they're only using this because... It's got a really good route that, that goes to pretty much everywhere in the city really quickly, so it's super efficient, but uh, really cool to just watch how many people are going to start using this thing and uh, and how balanced this whole, this whole airport's going to be, even though there's like four different terminals. So if you watched my, my last series on Fluxburg, you would have seen 
how I made an airport. It was like FIA, I think is what I called it. And it was pretty cool. Like I liked the way it looked, but I couldn't get anybody to use more than one terminal. And that's what, that's because I just had everybody leaving in the same spot. So everyone would just take the terminal. It's the closest to the exit, obviously. And uh, the rest of them would just have no traffic whatsoever. And it was kind of pointless. So this is a pretty cool way to get your terminal super involved. If you ever want to make a big airport and try to have it used, um, you know, make use of all the different terminals. You should definitely try to make dedicated terminals for, say, train lines or metro lines or bus lines or whatever. And we haven't even done the buses yet, so let's go ahead and do the buses now since we haven't done that quite yet. Let me uh, hop out here. I think the bus line's going to have to swoop in over here. Oh, this is going to be a mess, isn't it? Wow. Hmm. I think I'm going to have the buses. Ooh, I'm going to have the buses exit from the parking garage instead. That way, 100% of the traffic for the buses comes out this way, hits the parking garage, and then it's going to need to exit somewhere. I don't have a parking garage exit quite yet, so uh, I think we'll get around to that in a minute here. But uh, let's go ahead and try to make that work. All right, so uh, what I'm thinking for this parking garage area is I want to start off with some of these bigger parking garages, just kind of like right up against this uh, this train station here. So let's try and make some room for that. I want to plop down a few kind of in a bit of a pattern here and uh, really get it nice and dense over in this area, and then we'll kind of move out to some more uh, larger ground parking areas. So you can see I did add a little uh, exit point now for our parking garage area so we can get in via this little uh, loop around this way, and then we can get out this way off of this exit. And we'll have a, uh, a street over here. I'm gonna try and connect these if I can best as I can here. That looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and build the road out real quick. There we go. And then I think from here, what I want to try and do is, again, I, I did mention this earlier, but I want to have this area be a big commercial flight area for all of our uh, our cargo trucks and everything, you know, leaving that area. So all the, all the cargo moves in on these cargo planes in this facility. So because of that, I don't want to be putting too much, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want the buildings to expand too far this way. So I think for um, the garages themselves, we're pretty good here, as is. Um, but I do want to try and do a couple little parking lots over this way, I think. So let's see what we can do with this. Now, I think. Uh, I think we can expand out a little bit this way here and fit in a few of these. Let's see. Well, we can, but I don't know if we should. Maybe we do like one here and then uh, that kind of sets the... Well, actually, that kind of fits nicely, doesn't it? We do like a double and then we do a a road and then another double maybe see how far we get now here don't want to go too far like I said um, maybe we just do a single after this like that connect those and then should we go any further here we could always do one more four four by four like that over there and then maybe just do a let's see even like a single in this direction could fit in some uh, little single spaces maybe I don't know I'm just kinda playing around with stuff at this point I don't know if I like those singles very much actually Let me get rid of these real quick in this street I actually kind of like it as it is like this. Let me see if I can fit any of these in. Maybe like that. Kind of get some parking on the side of the street there. Hmm. Not super sure about this. Let me delete these again. I think I'm going to try and use some more of these concrete um, brushes that we have here to try and fill this area out. So. We could use this a little bit, get everything connected there, and then uh, I'll, I'll make some parking spaces here. Now I'm probably just gonna fill all this out with concrete anyway, 
So I'll just go ahead and do that now, like that. You can see we have a bit of a disconnect here um, because I accidentally hit play while I left that power uh, disconnected and I disconnected the train station again. So it's all messed up temporarily. I'm just going to go ahead and just start filling stuff out with concrete though, I think, because uh, I was planning on doing this anyway. And uh, we're eventually going to be filling out most of this with concrete and uh, the different lots for all the different planes and stuff because, again, we have a lot of detailing to do in that respect. But uh, for now, I'm actually pretty happy with this. I'm going to throw in a few, like, I guess these would be these would be parking spots for maybe the uh, employees or, or, you know, whoever has a special parking pass might be able to park in these lots over here. Okay, that looks pretty good. So we got some, uh, well, let's actually let's put this a bit further down, but that's good for the other main lot. So now we've got pretty solid looking uh, parking facility, I think. You know, I, I thought we'd need this here, but honestly, I don't think we really do because uh, it's all pretty lined up now. So now we have a big full-size parking lot. We'll do some gating off and whatnot in the future, but right now let's go ahead and get this train connected so we can finally have everything working and functioning again. But um, let's uh, let's do that. Should be page up, and then we'll pull out the uh, actual train track here, and we'll try to try to get it to turn around here without being too intrusive. Oh, wow, it looks like. I can make just about a full right angle here letting this uh but I don't really want to do that right now. Let's see. How are we going to get this out? Um that's too far. I think we're going to have to definitely just uh curve this all the way around. Yeah, just like that. That's okay not bad and then let's see I'll probably end up doing some stuff around here then just to kind of fill the space out so I don't have to have it look so weird right now but I'll have the train go out this way we'll have it um, it's not really gonna continue hmm it needs to get over here eventually It was kind of tricky, actually. I thought it'd be a little bit easier than this. Um, there's not really anywhere that I want it to go. All right, you know what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to leave a space right here. So we'll just quickly cut this stuff out temporarily. We'll uh, redraw this other road, but we'll redraw it like two more spaces this way. Oh, that was right. Yeah, that was right. And then we'll do one of these. Bring this thing out a tad bit more and hit up two of these. And then one more of the big one. Oops, we need a little bit more. A little more road there to get that one fit in there. There we go. So now we have a little bit of a, a gap there, which should work out for our train route. I'm still not like 100% sold on the way this is coming out though. Hmm. I mean, I, I really want the garages to be here though, I think. So, yeah, let's see. I'm gonna bring the train out a bit more like this first. I don't know if this is actually gonna help the problem at all, but for some reason it feels a bit cleaner to not have it going right over that area. Alright, um, hmm. I thought we could like slowly increase the or decrease the slope of this curve and have it kind of nice and cleanly cut into here, but it's not really doing that, is it? So let's go ahead and keep a constant slope. So we'll go to like there, and then we'll do a straight piece for a little while to like here. Same thing from this side. I'm going to have it go like this. I'm going to cross this piece here come down to like there and then we'll have the curve connection 
So I think that this train line is going to kind of serve as our divider between being a parking garage area and a commercial outlet zone. So once we get all of this stuff kind of tidied up, we'll probably have some trees kind of blocking you know the view of everything and then right on the other side of this train track that's when we'll throw in the commercial area and we'll have the the commercial runway and uh, all the different loading and unloading zones over here for all the different companies that have their trucks that come from that area so we'll get there in a little while but let's go ahead and connect this real quick first so bring it down to like there that was a pretty steep slope but I don't know if we really have an option here to make it any less steep. I'm pretty sure we can't start the slope on the other side of the road, but let's give it a shot anyway, just to try. Sometimes, oh, it does let you do it, all right. Sometimes it lets you do it, so it's always worth trying. Now, let me bring this, bring that back a little bit. I'm gonna grab this terrain and uh, smooth it out just a tad so we have a bit more room to work with. Then we'll go ahead and make a nice even curve. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get this closer first though, because right now it's doing some weird zigzag stuff that was a little bit unnecessary. So let's see, we wanna go from about here down to there. That's good. And then we'll have a nice little slope connection. So we got that. That's a little bit off offset, a little uneven. So we'll clean this up a little bit connect that and boom there we go awesome so there's our rail and I honestly kinda like how it goes through this little parking lot area I think it's kinda cool and like I said we'll probably be doing some uh, some tidying up around here later on but this is the general layout and uh, this is definitely gonna be a, a two-part thing as well I kinda knew going into this that it would most definitely take more than one part to finish this airport so that's kind of what we're working with right now all right so we're gonna wrap it up here for this episode I know it's kind of been all over the place with getting things done and uh, that's just been due to a lot of kind of jumping around and, and rethinking things redesigning things I'm trying a lot more in this airport than the one that I did the last uh, the last series that I worked on Fluxburg uh, to just make sure that the whole thing is working like properly and we're getting the most use out of every single different little module in this airport that we can. So I want to make sure that everything you know functions properly because again I'm trying to make this like the central hub of tourism for the entire island over here. So I want to make sure that it's working uh, at its peak and everything that we put down is functioning properly. So I'm pretty happy with the design so far. I think it's working out pretty well. It seems like our trains are finally handling this massive load of people we're getting from uh, this terminal over here. And this one seems to be handling traffic pretty okay. In fact, it looks like um, with the uh, reduced traffic in the main terminal, we're actually finally handling traffic here a little bit better than we were earlier. You remember last time it was just like total car clog and it seems like we kind of occasionally get down to just a couple cars over here. So. Uh, hopefully that will handle everything fine. It looks like it's doing all right as it is right now, but we'll get back next episode. We'll be putting down the commercial hub over here. We'll be detailing everything. We'll be finishing the entire airport. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.